Festus has been around for years. We've been around for years. Uh, we generally practice twice a week and we play about three shows a year, which normally end in a big fight, some kind of barroom brawl. And, and usually we only play at the, the Blue Ridge Grill and Bar in TR. That's about the only place we play at especially in the summertime because the, the crowd always goes out to the race so they want us to bring people in. So we usually bring people in and they get in the fight. Things are the way they are because it's the way they are, and that's just the way things are. If, if things are ever going to get any different, they're going to have they'll stop being the way they are now and change into the ways that you know they aren't right now. They'll change into something different. Me and Hagen have been friends for years, a lot of years, known each other for a long time. If he didn't play country music, he'd be a rock star. That's the only way I can explain it. That's the kind of person he is. I like noodle. I'm basically a bass noodleist. God, that looks. You know, and the other guys just they just can't keep up. They're like, well, you're just noodling too much, and I'm like, you're not noodling enough. You now, how we expect to get anywhere if you can't noodle like I noodle? Hey man, why don't you uh, change that bass tone a little bit? I'll change it once you shave that porn star mustache off. Yeah, I shouldn't be worried about a uh, match bass tone when Brandon needs to take that guitar and beat the death whoever made that shirt. Yeah, and by the way, do they make it in a men's? <laughs> <laughs> it's really a good time when me and John get together. <laughs> Woo, yeah! I can't wait to play this wedding. But I like divorces better, you know? Play the wedding, play the divorce. Horses are so much more fun. We get double money for it. You know, he ain't gonna make her happy anyways. He ain't got no job. He broke. They hey, gonna be married. Hey, like Hagen, Hagen, shut your mouth. You're talking about my brother. I don't appreciate it. Man, just shut your hippie mouth. I'm talking about double money for us and a band. You know? That's all I do. That and poker. I like to consider myself a, a professional uh, poker player. But some people call me a layabout. You know, I'm like a little shark. I just swim in through there and just, just eat up all the money. And then I get bored with it, and I just lay about for a week, two, seven. I know what you're thinking, Shane. We're going to play some of that widespread panic, Shane. Maybe you're going to request some of that fish, Shane. You're going to get some of that James Taylor. You know what? You take it back to Carolina. North Carolina. Stay out of my south. Come on, man. Shane's not a hippie. Why are you giving him such a hard time about it? Just look at his facial hair. He ain't got no mustache. He ain't got no connectors. Man, it's just a goatee. Brand you can't respect hippie. a man like that. Brandon hippie? No, he's just pop country. He don't know anybody. Everybody's got somebody in their family that they're ashamed of or afraid of. You know, like, uh, you know, the daddy that gets drunk and comes home and beats the kids. Or, you know, the mama that uh, breaks your piggy bank and takes the money out of it, buys cigarettes, and then tells you it went down the vent and you can't get it back. Or, you know, my brother Wayne, who... Uh, Gets hopped up on meth and shoots holes at the shadow people flying around in my trailer. Yes. Hey man, what are we doing tonight? Um, uh, well, uh, I got a wedding to go to. Awesome! A wedding! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> 
Hold on, hold on. I am with the band. There's a well-known hierarchy about who eats when during a wedding. And I, I thought it was universally known that it's talent, the handicap, the family, and then it's a free-for-all after that. I think actually the talent comes back up before the free-for-all after the family. I've known, I've known Frankie for a long time. We're brothers. I wish you guys the best of luck in all your endeavors. Congratulations. Because all he was talking about was peace and love and happiness and wearing goatees and skipping through la di da whatever you want to do. You know, when we do country music, it ain't about that. It's about crime, being sad, getting divorced, shooting guns, riding horses, stuff like that, trucks. This talks about the good times, the bad times, We're just Come talking. On. We're just talking, man. Don't That's you it. ever That's talk it, to dude. her again. Don't you ever talk to her hey, again. If you got ever. I can't help it if you got problems with ever. your own. Alright? You hear it? Alright? That's it. Show's over. Clear it out. Get get on. Everybody go home. Y'all pack up. Go on now. That's it. And get Wayne. I'll get him. Show's over. Wayne, so get on. That's the show. Pack up. <laughs> Get on inside, Hagen. Get inside, Hagen. I don't know who gave Wayne that pistol, but whoever gave him that pistol ought to be shot with it. By Wayne. Why not? He didn't go back to jail anyways. He might as well take out the retard that gave him the pistol. I'll just tell him. I'd save the day. It's I all... just saved the day. You save the day, Wayne. I saved the day. Wayne, don't get out of the truck. Big Don Wheeler had it. That was kind of a tough, tough job there y'all had. That. Yeah, a tough hey, crowd. I, I, I tell you what y'all need. Y'all need a demo. All I, right. I cut you a demo right here. Here's my card. Okay. Get you four tracks, $400. Four four right. Phone numbers right on there. That's okay. What you need. That's what y'all need. All right, all right. A demo. I, I can do it for you. Yeah. Is it cr crystal Illusions? Crystal Illusions. Okay. 400 right. bucks. 400 bucks. 400 bucks. 400 bucks. I heard of crystal meth. I never heard of crystal illusions. I bet you get crystal illusions when you're on crystal meth. Bad news for you today, Mr. Stringer. Uh, the dying department is dead. And uh, here's your unemployment information. And right here is um, your insurance information. This is your 401k information. But you don't have to really worry about that because it's empty. We've had somebody mismanaging something. I don't know what happened, but I think they're going to investigate it. And right here is, um, do you have any questions? Yeah, I got a lot of questions. Well, don't. I got the answers for you right here. All you had to do is call 1-800 and they can help you with any question you...
Well, did you beat the Caucasian persuasion? See this belt in my hands? Woo! Hey, hey, don't let Wayne see that. Where is he? He's back there sleeping. Ever since that wedding fiasco, uh, Wayne's been living in my loft at work. And, uh, you know, I think the only th thing that would be worse than that is him actually living in my house. Hey, hey, there's a champ. Champagne. What's up? Champagne. I'm gonna get that belt. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm just kidding, man. For real though, like, I used to do some wrestling. Mm -hmm. like, he's like real deal though. Not, I mean, not that. Sure. Like, not that girl yeah. stuff you mess around. Like, come on, man. get you a headlock. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just going on, man. That's it. Test the strength though, for real. Hey, hey, leave him alone and get out of there. All right. I am the Dodge Wrangler, amateur wrestling. I wrestle about once a month over at the Armory, Tudor Town, King of the Ring, wherever. I'll go wherever, wrestle whoever. I'm the champ. Yeah. Hey man, uh, you mind getting that? Yeah, I'll get it for you. Off the road! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Ow! Hey Wayne, where are you going with them tools? I was just gonna go work on my truck a little bit. Hey man, you chewing that nicotine gun? Yeah. Can I bum a piece, man? I, I need a buzz like a chainsaw, Robert. Awesome. What are you doing here? Just hanging out, man. Well, did you get off early or something? No. Hey, calling sick? No, nah, man, I got laid off. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, nah, seriously, I got laid off. They're moving uh, everything off to Pakistan. That's no good. Hey, fellas, I heard y'all talking because I was out here listening. Wayne, yeah. what have I told you about coming in the house? Don't do it. He ain't got a holler at me, Robert. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, I might have some work for you at the shop, but I don't know how much I could pay you. But, you know, it'd be something until you get back on your feet and get another job. Uh, anything will help, really. I'll, uh... What are you doing calling me, man? I ain't calling me. Hello? Man, I don't want to cook any meth, okay? I ain't got myself up. Well, Robert's coming, man. Huh? So he's coming. Yep. I'm supposed to be getting a poker check today. Well, sometime, you know. I check every day once I arouse myself around 2, 3 p.m. Hey, John. I know somebody at the unemployment office in Spartanburg. I bet they could hook you up if you just go down there one day. I think you probably should. You drive a forklift? No, I don't drive a forklift because I'm not certified so because I'm not qualified so I can't get my certification. There's a uh, forklift driving job opening at Winn Dixie Warehouse. Yeah but I can't do that because I'm not certified. You can get certified just go down to Greenville Tech. I know they teach classes in that. You ought, you ought to think about that man. I don't be, that wouldn't be a bad job at all. Driving that forklift. Forklift driving you know. Daddy got him a job down at the mill because Daddy was a foreman there. And that's really the only job he's ever had. Yeah, he's been living with us for almost two years now. I mean, he was living in a trailer over in Traveler's Rest, and then somebody burned it down while he was at work one day. It caught fire, but there's I don't know that he might burned it down. Well, that's what he told me. Well, there was never any evidence of arson. All I know is what he told me. He wasn't there. How's he know who burned it down? You can't know that if you weren't there. Hey, Robert. 
You know what, man? I wasn't there, but that was a good thing because uh, someone burnt my trailer down, and if I'd have been there, I'd have burnt up in it. So, yeah, you're right. Do you think he heard us? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to start, you know, taking music a little bit more seriously, start, you know, maybe playing for a living. It's just like Alan Jackson, he drove a forklift at Walmart, you know, for a long time before he ever got any kind of record deal, any recognition. And Travis Tritt, he used to work at a loading dock. Yeah, yeah my cousins got laid off the other day. Well, I mean, they got fired for stealing, but, I mean, it's a tough job market anyways, you know? Yeah. Especially when you do stuff like that. Maybe listen to that uh, John Anderson mixtape, right, baby? Yeah. Cool thinking, man. Yeah. Mm. You know, uh, Conway and John got together back in 85 and did a duet of Frosty the Snowman. I can't she find that on cassette man. anywhere, but, you know, I'm looking. Yeah, I never heard that. It's pretty good. You know, I'm getting sick of this, you know, two shows a year, you know, stuff, three shows a year. I want to start... Yeah, I'm gonna start doing something with the music, man. I mean, you you want you want to try to take the band places? I mean, what do you want to do? Uh, well, you know, I don't know. Maybe go talk to Big Don. You know that guy we met up at uh, the wedding. So he'd give us a demo. Maybe do something like that. I mean, we ain't got four hundred dollars, but shoot, we go. Yeah, we man, let's get go. I'm gonna put the pants on. Let's get out of here. <clears throat> man, I was just trying to help. Well, quick. I don't know why you're getting all mad, Robert. Because you're tearing up other people's cars. <laughs> But you're fixing them! You can't go tearing up people's cars just so they'll bring them in here for me to fix. That ain't right. Alright, I mean, whatever, you know. I mean, you're the businessman here. Look, go put your shirt on and get in the loft. I can't wait to make that record deal, though. You know what I mean? We'd be like, just like Hank. Yeah. You know, get that big money, move to Nashville. Uh -huh. Well, shoot, get me out of that peach orchard with them trailers and the peaches in it, you know? That's gonna be awesome, man. Hey, John, I've been working on my night moves, man. Well, we need to work on writing some songs, Brandon. Rhett writes the songs. Have you heard Rhett's song? Have you heard the song about Myrtle Beach? The, the Myrtle Beach, Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle Beach, Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. Yeah, I know how it goes. You just repeat Myrtle Beach over and over again Myrtle and say Beach. stuff about the beat. Nice. Saltwater? Brandon and Rhett, they're trying to write songs that have already been written and they're currently on the radio. So it really slows down songwriting process. I went fly fishing, glassy mountain hiking. I yeah, went... yeah, that's, a, that's a Tim McGraw song. Yeah, heard that song before. He's going hiking. No, sing it again, sing it again, sing it one more time. Two and a half hours with a woman oh, named Debbie. Man, yeah, we meant you, yeah. I went, keep going, I'll go with you, I know the words to it. No, man, it's just, I'm not singing that song. I love this car. Bum, 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 bum. It's my camera. Yeah, like, uh, I love this bar, like Toby Keith. That's that's a Toby Keith song. He just messed the words up a little. Oh, I love this bar. It's my kind of place. Toby Keith just a want to be Hank Jr. anyway. I mean, you need $400? Here's how you do it. Because I've done it. Go down there to the store, get you like four boxes of suit of fed. Don't get more than that, they get suspicious Wait. on you. Get back up in the loft, man. Leave him alone. You ain't gotta holler at me. I'm trying to work too, Vinny. There's a place of business. There's a place where folks do work, man. There you go, I'm going. <laughs> Robert doesn't need any help down at the shop. So I've just been piddling. Doing whatever jobs I can for whoever, trying to make any money that I can make. Figure, you know, I need to make some money to go make a demo. But I owe everybody in the world money, so it's hard to make any money when uh, all the money you make is spoken for. Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, if I had the money, I already paid it now, wasn't I? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I'm, I'm making $20 cutting some wood up today, so I'll mail you $5 of it. How's that sound? Oh, you don't you don't want $5? Well, I mean, you, you called me wanting money, and now you don't want money? I mean, what do you want from me? I'm trying I'm trying to give you something. I mean, if you don't want $5, you know, maybe, maybe I can give you six fifty. How about 7 
playing on this corner? Yeah, man. That's funny because it's my corner. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. I play here every Friday, Saturday night. Yeah, whatever, man. You ever seen me out here before? No, because I don't come out here. Well, feel bad about it? I'm going to have to ask you to move. Because it's my corner. Not moving, sorry. <laughs> You're going to need to move. No. I don't, really? don't want to have to make you move. Give me 20 bucks and I'll move. How about that? How's that sound? <laughs> I'll give you twenty dollars because I know I'm gonna make money. I'm gonna make hundred. Oh, it's just gonna be twenty bucks. How can you give me twenty bucks? What do you do to just be able to hand somebody twenty dollars, man? <laughs> and I got plenty of money. I'm a paralegal. I just do this for fun. Paral. Okay. All right. yeah. Well, yeah. That's cool. I just do it because I'm good. You gonna give me twenty bucks? That's cool, man. I'll move. Yeah, you move. All right. Appreciate it. What I'll kind play. of music you play? I play country. <laughs> You're not gonna make any money anyway playing country music. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah, I move. Oh, you're cute. I, I think my guitar is a little bit louder in that piece anyway. Elijah was a wooden man with sand on the top of the door. Fell in love with a chat dog girl, old damn damn stone. Elijah. Got to do what I can do to make money for the demo, because you know we need several hundred dollars to make this demo, and I've been trying to write songs too, because there's no reason not to be writing songs even though I don't have the money to record. Hey, 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 y'all, hey, y'all, hey. We got some new songs. I've been writing this week, so y'all check them out. I was trying to get on this new one we're doing now. <laughs> Girl, you sure are a blessing But I like my women trashing Your love and whoa, 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 Done, man. That's really that? good and all. But we got some really good songs we wrote down this week. Let's play those. I mean, it's really good. Don't get me yeah, wrong. I yeah, like well, it, but we've yeah. been working on stuff, you know. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't finish a song, Brandon. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really done with what I'm doing. Well, right is now. that your job to write songs, or...? I thought Rat Rat songs. No, I want to see what y'all got. Sing it. All right. You want to sing it, man? No, 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 no. Oh, come on, dude. No. Sing it. It's awesome, man. It's good stuff. I don't, I don't it's going to sell, man. If we get this going, it's going to sell. I'm, uh, John's a singer. I don't, I don't, I don't write. I don't sing. No. Look, Rat Brandon, if he doesn't want to sing it, he's not going to sing it. So let's I mean, just. I, I mean, I'll sing it. I mean, I'll, all right. Yeah, we got yeah. it written down here. This napkin, you know, just. And co -eds like us sure do have fun. Driving our jeeps, shooting our guns. Those Iraqi girls out in the sun can't see their faces, they're covered up. Those heroes in green, they got a right. Spring break in Iraq. What in the, where do y'all find these piles of crap at? It's like there's a big pile of crap behind your house. Or you walk party. past it and someone pick it up crap. and stick it on another pile and say, and that's the good that. pile of crap and that's the bad pile of crap. Why, I'll tell you why, what, why you know who's... Hank hey, Williams Jr. rolling over in his grave right now. Right now. Bad. Rolling you over twice. That, that, there's one country legend that you don't mess with, just one, and it's the king, George Strait. Uh. <laughs> Flesh ripped off because of that stuff. That is ridiculous. I play bass with one hand today because I'm that good. But you... You alright, man? Man, all I want to do is just play one song. Just one. One song. But whatever. You know, whatever. Well, I gotta go to the shop. You go? Yeah, man, let's go. Let's get out of here. Alright, hop in. Hey, where y'all going? To the shop. Don't leave me alone with these people. Well, come on. Hey, baby, phone's ringing. Can I get it? You gonna buy that? It's awesome, Vinny. Hey, man, you wanna buy my truck? It's for sale. It's awesome. I. 
Well, don't take it down unless you're going to buy it, man. Well, I'm thinking about buying it, maybe. Well, I mean, thinking and buying is different animals, son. Well, is this this old truck sitting out behind the shop? That awesome truck sitting outside the yeah, shop. Yeah, that awesome truck. That truck's pretty awesome. Let's go out there and talk about it. I'll check it out. All right. $400. $400. We'll get, go get my checkbook. No, hey, man, I don't take checks. This ain't like the first night. I can't even go in a bank, man. That's they fine. got my picture. Let me go to the ATM. I'll be right back. Hey, put that gun away. You gonna let me drive it? No, no, no Wayne. That's not how it works. You know, at first I felt kind of bad um, giving Wayne four hundred dollars for a fifteen thousand dollar pickup truck. Yeah, sure. But when I really sat down and thought about it, I kind of did the community a favor, getting Wayne off the streets. So. And ultimately, I guess it was a good deal for everyone all the way around. Put the gun away! Man, you only got one in the Wait, chamber. Put the, a... I'll buy the truck. Just put the gun away. It's a good deal. I guess he's just fed up. I'd be fed up, too, if I was him. I mean, his songs are really good. I heard him practicing the other day in the back room, and they were good, like radio good. up in rows, spend all my nights tucked in close to you. Harmonica solo. Yep. The man needs $400 and uh, John's trying real hard, but he ain't never been no account at making any money. So, uh, it comes all on me. I'm a money making machine. That's why they sometimes call me the counterfeiter, because I just make money. You know, I play my cards right, fast. And, uh, when they get all that money, there'll be 400 for me and uh, 400 for the band, and everybody wins, you know? Bills get paid, lights stay on. Party continues. That's how I live my life, like a party. John, you guys are just living in the past. I mean, we're trying to play music for the fans and the kids. Brandon, your songs are just like the same songs that come on 92.5, except you change the lyrics a little and say they're yours. It's still good stuff. Right, right, instant classics. It's not your stuff, man. It's like, uh, you know, Tim McGraw Done. stuff, Kenny Don't. Chesney stuff. It's not really yours. Don't get pissed off about it, man. I'm not pissed I'm off, I'm not friend. pissed. Are you pissed? No, I'm not pissed We understand. Off. I think we're just going in two different directions musically. I mean, we don't want to play at a bar every Friday night with ten people there. You know, we want something big. We want... John, don't leave the band. I'm no, no, no. Y'all are leaving the band. I'm, I'm cool. I'm fine. Look, it just, yeah, I'm, I'm not playing with y'all anymore. Like I'm, I'm playing in my band. Just, John, come on, man, come on. Look, we're leaving. Come with us now. Just come on. Get in the car. Going to the rodeo. It's your last chance. Come on. Here we come. This is a limited edition Hank Jr. Ashtray. Available with every purchase. Limited one purchase. Because I bought it. This is I bought it from the store. I don't smoke in it. That'd be degrading Hank Jr. God rest his soul. I like it. Amelia got tired of us playing in the house. She threw us out. Hey Robert, man. What? I think your aunt's sitting in the motor oil. Man. Son of a rich man, right behind bars. Shot a man, robbed a bank, and stole 13 cars. Yeah, he got stripes. Well, he got stripes. He got stripes, Lord, man. Big, big.
Well, Wayne left in the truck. Had a little note in there, too. John, here's some money for your record deal. Wayne. Wayne. Awesome, you found it. Dude, that was a gift. That's from me to you. Wayne, you stole the money. We know you stole it. I didn't steal that money, man. I'm telling you, that's a gift. That's for your record deal, man. Wayne, you stole that money because you're a kleptomaniac. I didn't steal no money, Jonathan Stringer. And I ain't no kleptomaniac. And I ain't going to sit here in this tire and put up with this junk, neither. Yep, stop. See, the thing with Wayne is, is, he's like a whipped dog. He gets scared, you kick him, he runs off, but he'll come back. Oh yeah, he'll be back, so we'll just wait on him. He'll come back to steal something or something. truck running. Well, uh, this morning, but it's my truck. I you, bought it. From Wayne? Yeah, four hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars? Yeah, can you believe it? First time he's been innocent in his life. Wayne saved the day, you know, giving us that money. I sure wish I knew where he was, so he could show me how to steal power. I mean, I can't get money to turn the power back on unless I play my poker business. And the laptop's dead and I can't plug it in anywhere. about putting that up on my ceiling. You know, like one of them movie stars with a mirror on the ceiling. Give me one of them vibrating beds. We got the money, we got the tunes. John gave me this awesome bass tape for me to practice with. And we gonna do it, man. This is a year of Festus. As soon as I get these headphones untangled, I can start practicing. It's like a stage I like to practice my moves on, you know? That's why I come over here, playing my bass, making moves, walking this away. Oh, walk back this way, you know, trick them. You know, I never know where I'm going because I just like moving around backwards when I play. Yeah. Doing some steps. That's what makes me the better player right now, is the steps I do. That's enough practice for today. You wanna come over here and help me up? Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to Phil's Music. How can I help you today? Uh, let me get a pack of guitar strings. Electric or acoustic? Let me get some acoustics. All right, you have a brand preference, a Martin, a D'Addario? Yeah, we're on the way to get this demo. I'm pretty excited about it. Get a you know, really get things going for the band. Get some paying shows. It's gonna be, you know, pretty good to have all that. That's really the only thing that's holding us back is just not having a demo. So. 
How's it going? Welcome to Crystal Lee Studios. I know you, John. This is a. I know your face. I remember you from the wedding. I'm hanging, man. Good. Good to meet hey, you. Hey, I, I know well, what y'all are thinking. You know, the garage. It's, but hey, it's it's the electronics I got here, and it's the good acoustics, and it's it's up here. We're gonna we're gonna do a good one today. Where's your drummer? He had to go buy drum? cigarettes. I tell you what. Okay, we can't do anything without the drummer. I tell you what. Y'all just kind of hang free out there. I'm going to try to get uh, some of this stuff set up in here. We'll be ready to go, all right? Give me just a second. All right. Hey, y'all want a banana? Anybody? No, that's all right. Thank you. That's cool. Hey, y'all want a banana? Yeah, we'll take it. Man, I can't believe Brett went off with Clinton now. He's been hanging out with him a lot, man. Quentin and uh, Chuck and then yeah. Vincent. You know, you know the kind of stuff they do. No, I don't know nothing about them boys. Well, Quentin, like, he, uh, they, they do that huffing gasoline and stuff, and they do that methamphetamine, and, and I've seen him eat cigarettes, lit and all, man. Just straight swallow them. That must be why the shows are so good. The shows aren't that good, man. They think they're good, I'll tell you that. Man. Probably down at that Wee Willis down on 414, Wee Willis number three or four. Talking to Big Rhonda. Yeah. yeah. They got some of the best cigarettes in town. I mean, I've got that cigarette machine upstairs if I'd have just known that. You got man. a cigarette machine upstairs? Yeah. I'd love to have a cigarette machine in my trailer, man. You know? Get cigarettes all the time. I'd be awesome. You have to put money in there how you get cigarettes. You can't just get No, it man. Free. It's my money. I put it in, I take it out, get another cigarette. It'd be awesome. What about one of them uh, electronic keyboard drums? Yeah, we use one of them, can't we? And you know, Robert took off all day, you know, from work to record, but now you know we can't do anything. Man, I wish I had one of them cigarette machines in my house. You know, uh, Mom wants you to come by tomorrow and uh, help her jack up that back deck. Pick the wrong time to quit smoking, I tell you that. What do you mean? No, I just got so much work to do. I can't get caught up. But I can't afford to pay anybody to help out. You know, I can, I'd like to give my brother a job, but I just can't afford it. He's pretty good on motors. Yeah. I got that. I got a million wanting to go out every night. When I get home from work, and there's no way. I'm just, I just want to lay down. Hey man, you play drums? I mean, I, I play a little bit. I'm not any hot shot, but I play over at uh, Tiger River Pentecostal. It's on the backside of Callahan Mount. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing there for a couple of years. They have a band and we're called Cross Train. You ever seen us? Heard about us? Before I came with them, they were called One Cross, Two Thieves, Three Nails, Four Given. And I was just like, I'm not playing any band. That kind of name. So they. They changed their name up a little bit, lost some members, but we, I, I play once a week at church, and then about once a month we go to Channel 16 and just play. Wow, y'all must be pretty good then. No, we're just like background music for an exercise show. Nuh-uh. Why not? He had the goatee thing, he had the hair and no mustache. He can't even grow a mustache, I don't think. Charlie Daniels band covered Legend of Wooly Swamp. I'm talking about a hippie playing country, not a country boy playing with hippies. Matt, man, he's not a hippie, he's a Pentecostal. If I knew what that meant, I'd be mad. So, uh, Brett, he's been a little shady here lately. So we're going to check out Shane that works with Robert. He plays drums at church. I'm just waiting on Robert to get out here. Uh, but uh, we're going to see what kind of, you know, drumming he can do because we got to get this record done, you know, with Brett or without him. So, Robert! You ever been to one of these churches? No, but I hear they're kind of wild. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The devil is in this room! The devil is in that room! It's in that room! Wow. Uh, I don't think we really need to go in, do we? No, no, man. Uh, do you care if he's in the band? 
Oh, no, I mean, I think he's going to be fine. I can kind of hear the drums right now. Let's get out of here, yeah, man. Yeah, let's get out of here. Son of a rich man locked behind bars. Shot a man, robbed a bank, and stole 13 cars. Yeah, he got stripes. Yeah, he got stripes. He got stripes for the next 50 years. Yeah, man, you get them drum tracks laid down? Yeah, we're all finished with them, dude. Set up my drums. So what? We're recording today. What are you doing here? Are we recording today? He's what my new it? drummer, man. You out? What? I'm out. You're this out. It's kind of awkward well, here. Matt, we were the rhythm and the groove, man. We were the. We held this band together. We were the glue. I'll be at the truck. We're man. like the rhythm. All right, man. Here. Yeah, we know what? What? Back up here! Come on! Come on. Son of a rich man running from jail The warden spots him with his light and shoots him straight to hell Now he got stripes It sounds pretty good, man. Sounds pretty good. Sounds yeah, pretty good. good. I, know, I, I know good stuff when I hear it. My wife does too. And my wife, she likes this. I mean, she watches that, uh, what's the name of that talent show on TV? Uh, Idol, American Idol. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, you can't drag her away from that thing. She knows good talent. Tell you what, let me ask you. Uh, I've got a cousin up in uh, Nashville. He's an A&R man. You want me to send that demo up to him for yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. I mean, uh, good. all right. Uh, I was wondering uh, if you could like, burn that down to like a tape, like a cassette tape. I don't have CDs in my truck. I just have tape. I was wondering yeah, I can you do, do that. that. Yeah, I can all do right, anything. Cool, I'll cool. do that for you. I, right. just don't, I don't have any way to get the CD to a tape. No know. problem, I can do that. All no right. problem. Sounds good. Man, that sounds good. You hearing that? That sounds real good, man. Well, I normally don't do this, but I'm going to go to Hagen's mama's house. I know he's up there visiting with the family, and I don't like to you know, stop in and, and bother him when he's with his family like that, and his family time, but I'm, I'm gonna go over there now because he's gotta hear this now. Hey man, you gotta hear this man. What you hear this? That? that sounds like me. You gotta hear this. That is good, man. Listen to it. Oh, we in the blazer? Yeah, man. Oh, I got good speakers. Put it in the blazer. Yeah. Them, them tweeters is gooder than hell. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, that sounds good, darling. Yeah, we're gonna do it now. We got yeah, it. Man. We're gonna get some shows now for sure. Yeah. Make us some money. Yeah. Uh, I need some money. Oh, you got any money? No, I don't really. Yeah. Yep, it's just a little record deal party we have every once in a while. Yeah, man, we wild. Woo! Wild. Yeah! Saturday night. Yep, there in Nashville, it's just a big handshaking party, you know. We ain't got a connection yet. We get this record deal sent off, man. We go on places. And you go places too. And you go with us as well. That's my buddy John right there. He wants to go. How old are you? 22. 22. 
Is that like combined age or? No. We're 22. Okay, cool. Yeah, I can count. <laughs> All right. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Demo sounds great, man. Y'all really did a good job. Appreciate it. Man. Yeah, me and Rhett, you know, we got a few things written down. We're thinking about getting in there soon. Ourselves, yeah. yeah. Go awesome. record some go record tracks, you know. Yeah, that's good. good stuff. Nope. How's it going? Sure missed you playing on Wednesday night. I tell you what, man. I really appreciate you guys uh, coming out here tonight. So how's the band going? Oh, it's great. Really great. I mean, Channel 16 twice a month. Twice? Wow, yeah. that's pretty awesome, man. Not even playing on the exercise show anymore, dude. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> you got any new tattoos? Yeah, yeah, man. I got that one right there. That's sweet. Yeah, it represents uh, Daniel and the Lions Den. Yeah, and it's like uh, like David fighting the Philistines, but uh, Goliath was like a person. He wasn't a lion or nothing. No, he was like a lion to the Israelites, all scary, like you know, they was afraid of him. Yeah, wow. Hey Ashley, what's up, girl? Uh, hadn't talked to you in a while. Just uh, seeing what what's going on. You know what what are you doing? Uh, well, you know, I hadn't talked to you in a while, and I you're just you know calling to see. Dang. Hey Ashley, it's uh it's John again. You know I. I'm not sure if you got my first message. I think it might have cut me off, so I was just calling back. John was with Ashley a long time ago. He got together with her one night four-wheel driving when she saw me and said that she needed to get closer to me through him. You know, I, and it hurts me every time I see him talk about her. Because I know if, if she does come around, it's for me, not him. And I can't help it. What? Eat your sister. Okay. Hagen, I'm here. Now, what you want? Plug this one in. Brandy, why don't you go out with me? Why don't you come to John's birthday party? Oh, Brand. What's going on out here? What's it look like going on? Brandy, why don't you go out with me? We'll play some Kid Rock. Oh, no, no, Daddy. Oh, no. Kid Rock? Kid Rock is a wannabe Hank Jr. Kid Rock saved my life. Look, if you don't go, she ain't going because her sister want to go and she needs someone to go with. Well, tell her sister to stay at home. Her sister's too young to stay home herself. Well, then she's definitely too young to go out with me. I'm not going to be a babysitter, man. Look, man, if you don't do this, if you don't start going out, you ain't never getting over it. You're going to be living that dream the whole rest of your life. You know? You got to get back in it. John, you got to get your game on. You got to get your groove on. You might even have to get your smooth on. I'm not going to go out with no 14-year-old and be a, a pedophile Man, or I played like with that, that hippie drummer for you. You gonna do this to me? I've given everything for you. Come on, John, just one thing for me. Why don't you be cool and take us to Tear Town and get us some beer? Beer? Do you have any cigarettes? Nah, you wanna hang a dip? Uh, no, what about some weed? Weed? Wayne is for- Hey, hey, don't you have a brother named Wayne that has the mustache? Oh my, Wayne? He is so cool. Wayne, oh get out God. of my truck! No. Y'all wait, we walk yeah, home right now. No, take me home. Not, come on, now get I'm not walking get, home. Get out of my truck. Y'all get I don't need this. Shut up, Hagen. You gonna call me? No. Call me? 
I'll see you tomorrow. Woo! Ba -bong, ba -bong, ba -bong, ba -bong. I've never been particularly good at anything. I think I was like maybe 95th in my class or something. I uh, played football for three years, but I only got in for one play at senior night, I think. And, uh, you know, me and Hagen, we played football together. And we went to the prom together. I'm good at music. That's what I do is, you know, music. Hey, you see my torque wrench? I could have sworn it was right here. And then the gas and metal will light up another camel together. Well, I'm dreaming of a home. Favorite song I've written is probably Sawmill Town. Cause it's about you know kind of the area I live in and and about you know there's just not a lot to do because they're moving all the jobs away and stuff you know. And, well yeah I understand that you you know you're you're booked up or whatever but if anyone you know drops out or can't play you know just give us a shout because we'll come down there and fill in and no we, we mainly just play country and western that's about all we do we don't do any beach no we don't do top 40 neither we just mainly country and western you know a little outlaw music maybe. All right, well, I appreciate it. Man. No luck? No, nah, man, I've called about every bar in here. You know, we thought getting this demo would really get us started, you know? Yeah, I thought that's all we really needed. I mean, we're giving it out to everybody we know. Maybe I should call uh, Big Don up. Yeah, it has been three weeks. You know, we should have heard something by now. Thanks you should call him? Yeah, man, give him a call. Oh, I'm going to call him up, man. Hey man, this is uh, John from Festus. Yeah, yeah, I was just just calling and see what's going on. Though you hadn't heard from your cousin at all, huh? So no, no, no news to me is as good as bad news, huh? But, oh, that pretty much means no. Okay, all right. Well. Hey, if you hear anything, just give me a shout. All right, appreciate it. I hadn't heard nothing. That, that ain't good, is it? No, that's what he said. If you hadn't heard anything, that pretty much means no in the music industry. Man. Today has been terrible. Hey, Robert. Yeah. Have you seen the, the grease gun? Oh, it's usually right there. Well, it's not around here. I, I haven't know. used it in... Man, I can't find the socket wrench either. I can't find, find the whole set of sockets. The grease gun's missing. What else did I miss the other day? You ain't seen my torque wrench, have you? Uh-uh. You ever wish you were somebody else, Matt? John, there's not a day that goes by that I don't wish I was Conway Twitty, man. How many of those you chewing today? Well, I started chewing three a day, and then I guess I'm up about eight a day now. I might start smoking again, man. This stuff's too expensive. Oh, I bet, yeah. Well, I guess I'm gonna go to bed. Man, I think I'm gonna quit the band. I got, I got too many responsibilities now. I need to spend more time with Amelia, and I need to spend more time at work. I'm not making much money because I'm not working enough. I don't know. You're not mad, are you? Nah, no. Uh well, you mind if we still use the garage to practice in? Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, I'm sure Amelia won't understand, but, I mean, hey. 
Alright, well, I'm gonna go to bed. Night. Normally I enjoy my breakfast at Wee Willis in the morning, but this morning's pretty rough because we had such a horrible show last night. You know, Shane couldn't hear what he was playing. I, I couldn't hear nothing because of all the feedback. And then I don't know what Hagen was doing over there, but I was being awesome. Oh man, it's Ashley calling me. What's going on, girl? Oh, not much. Just hanging out. Just been playing a little music. What you been up to? Okay, yes. Yeah, that's, that's, you know what? I gotta run right now. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, I'll, t I'll talk to you later. What's up? I don't even think I lost my appetite, man. Ashley just got engaged. Do you? Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Wayne. Wayne. Hey, man. What's yeah. up? Look, now, I'm not saying you stole my tools, but, uh, did you steal my tools? Oh, man. I wouldn't take nothing from you, man. You're my brother. I know. Anyway, I mean, what you missing? Missing my torque wrench. Missing a grease gun. Well, shoot, man. I ain't an idiot. Torque wrench was a dime a dozen at the jockey lot. I wouldn't steal nothing like that anyway. Well, I, I don't want to be accusing you of it, but, uh, I mean, you do hang out with the criminal element a little bit more than I do, so if you see anything or hear anything, man, just let me know. You do that for me. I'd do anything for a brother, Robert, man, you know that. Thanks, anything for kid, yeah. Hey, you seen that old box I had? I can't find that, man. Steven. Hey, this is Wayne's, um, his camera. There's people stealing tools from my brother, and I'm gonna catch him. It's gonna be awesome. First, we're gonna go up to my room, and we're gonna stake it out, because Hagen's already outside. Ow! Hagen's outside, and I, I got a, a walkie-talkie, and I'm talking to him. And um, he's going to holler when they come, and we're going to get them. Told me to come here and check on the place because of evidently all the tools are being stolen. Well, that's why so we're I here. Come over. Well, perfect. We're here, so I just talked to Robert. I'm gonna stay here and 
supervise and babysit you guys. All right, Shane, enough talking. Listen, y'all get up here in my room with me, and we'll keep an eye out. Camera guy, you go out there outside and hide yourself, and you holler when you see him. Now, that's a plan. Will do. A whistle like an owl. Okay. My name is Wayne, uh, P.I., and that's, you are? Hagen. P.I.? Yeah. yeah. And that's. I'm not doing this, Wayne. Say it, Shane. Wayne. Say it, Shane. So Hagen, tell him to say it, man. Say it. We all said it. We took an oath when we came in here. An oath of blood. Yeah, blood, a blood, a blood, blood oath. Maybe it's just me and Wayne did, but you can do it too. Shane, say it. This is Shane O'Neill. P. I. P. I. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Like All right, cool. And there's that's the pistol. And what weapon you got, Hagen? I got. It looks like a big knife. Awesome. See that? What you got, Shane? Chop me. Uh, big, big old wrench. Awesome. All right, and we we're um. We're gonna kill these people when they come in. Don't, what, we're not, don't, don't shoot anybody when they come no, in. We I can't stress this enough. Look at me. Uh, don't pull the trigger on anybody. We gotta see who they are first. I thought we were gonna kill them. It could be Robert walking through the door. You don't know. Now, Robert ain't gonna steal his own tools. But he could walk in here. You don't wanna shoot him. Wayne, first person walks in the door, fire a warning shot into the thigh. Oh, gosh, no. Freeze! We got you surrounded. Now everybody, everybody, just move a little over this way. I'm going now, Mister Me. What's this about, guys? What's this about? What are you about? Why are you here? Didn't do any work here. Yeah, yeah, but you don't have, but you don't have a key here. Oh, that's kind of a problem. What are you saying? Hey, Wayne, get them in these chairs. Hey, get him in there. What are you doing? Chairs, boys! You know us. You know Don't us. make me cut yeah. you with my knife. Why did y'all right. let him hold the gun? Calm down. Yep, it was him. Sure was. And Brett's here with him, too. All right, we'll hold him. All right, we'll see him in a minute. Yo, crack whore. I ain't on no crack. You all crack whore. Yeah. You, and you look you yeah. one, too. You're the, you're the one. You're the one to talk no, about. because you were over there at Larry's house the other night. Hey, you were. Everybody, shut up! 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 So frustrated, I couldn't believe Robert was making me stay there. Whatever, they did it. You know, they did it. It's kind of. I'm kind of glad I was there. It was. It was kind of fun to catch Vinny. I never liked him in the first place anyway. I always thought he was spooky. At least I don't have to work with him anymore. I just hope this didn't go to Hagen's head. What is this? Battle of the Bands, Saturday, February 16th, 9 p.m. Judges include talent scouts from Nashville, Hulk and Little John. Huh. Mama's always looking out for me. I guess we better go give them a demo. Well, let's play something good. Let's play this right here. What are you playing? Hey, man. What are you playing? Man, stop it, man. That sounds terrible, man. Stop, man. Man, that sounds awful. Quit playing that now. Stop. Just stop what we're doing. You're ruining the show, man. It sounds terrible. Sounds terrible. Let's start over. Who's running the show, people, huh? Is it me or him? Who's running the damn show? Get off the mic, man. You're ruining the show, man. You're ruining our show.
He can't play nothing unless I teach him. He only plays the stuff I teach him. I gave him that back to the basics tape, and that's all he knows how to play. He can't play nothing. I play anything you want to hear. What do y'all want to hear? I ain't playing yeah. no Kid Rock. Kid, Kid Rock's a faggot. Man. I ain't playing any of that mess. Yeah. Sitting in an all night breakfast truck stop, peeling labels off of pop tops. I want to just felt my heart stop, so I take another perk of sin. Jones pretty bad off right now. I mean, I just I don't know. I've never seen him this bad off. He's a really easy going guy and stuff. And then I don't feel like I can tell him about the battle of the bands. You know, now I mean, if we get rejected, he'll just be crushed, crushed. Oh, what are you doing, Wayne? Man, not, oh, I'm not hurting nothing. Scared much. me. Just hanging out, man. Oh. Just sleep up here tonight. Passed out. Yeah, man. You know you're not supposed to be at Robert's house, man. What are you doing here? I don't know. Why are you getting all pissed off, man? I wasn't hurting nothing. I was just hanging out. Are you all pissed off because you ain't got no money? I already told you how you can make a pile of money. I mean, I've given you money making cigarettes, man. All you got to do, get yourself some common, everyday household kitchen cleaners. You need a stove. I need to get, you need to get you a place. Where are you going, man? I'm giving you like money making secrets. This is gold. I had to fire Vinny today. Why's that? Wayne and uh, Hagen caught him stealing. Huh. Breaking in one night. Called him trying to get the second torque wrench I've had to buy because he stole the first one. Man. Here I thought it was Wayne this whole time. So, uh, you want a job? Yeah, I use a job. Yeah, man. All right. You got it, man. Now, you remember that Ashley chick, Robert? I used to date her in high school for like three years, you know. She's getting married. Man, I just really never been able to get over her, man. Is that why you were sleeping on the roof the other night? Oh, I don't know, man. I don't. I don't even remember. What I was doing up there. Well, you definitely weren't cleaning out my gutters. Well, like I told Ashley, I had the best of intentions from the start, Travis Tritt. Well, here's a quarter. Call somebody to clean out my gutters. Seriously, man, I mean... Can you go like to Hagen's or something and film him for, you know, a couple hours and just give me a little piece for, you know, a few hours? Would that be too much to ask? Show. He cleans up real nice. He don't even smell like him anymore. He smells like gasoline. 
Conway Twitty had a team of stylists to keep his hair looking like this. I do it myself, you know? He sat up in a chair every night when he was on tour to keep his hair good looking. You know, when I go on the road, I'm gonna need me a stylist, you know? Need someone to come with me, make my hair look good. Ladies, this is my good buddy Shane. You know, last time it didn't work out so well, but this guy, I brought in the big guns with me. So we can we can do this again. And I promise it'll go a lot better than last time. I, I will not drink. It better. I might, I might drink. How old are y'all? 23. Y'all said you was 22. What's that thing that John Wills Booth said? <laughs> he, he jumped off the balcony, grabbed the flag he was coming down, broke his leg, went to the stage, the and said, Eat it, Lincoln. I think that was it. It was in Latin, though. It said it in Latin. <laughs> You know, I got a I got a job now with Robert, and things are looking up a little. Pretty excited about that. I like my job a lot, and you know, it was well, for a while there. I was on the road, you know, to end up like Wayne, I guess. So that's how people turn out that way. As you just kind of keep slipping, sliding until you're, you know, down there in a hole and you can't get out of it. So I'm just I'm just glad to be kind of back up on my feet, and now I'm playing with the you know the guys a little. We're playing a little just for fun, you know, not. You know, not try to make a living out of it, so things are looking up. Hello? Huh? Are you serious? We're in the battle of the bands? All right, woo! Yeah, man, yeah, all right now. says right here, judges include talent scouts from several Nashville record labels and Hawk and Little John. Grand prize winner gets an all expense paid recording session at 10th Street Studios and some other cool prizes. Matt, man, I don't care, man. I don't care about Little John. I don't care about Biggie Smalls or Tupac or any of them or Nashville because they don't like our music. They don't like what we do, which that's fine, you know. I'm still going to play the Battle of the Bands. Why are you playing it, man? Why are you playing it? I'm like playing, man. It's gonna play, man. It's gonna be a good crowd. Son of a preacher, man. Yeah, man, count it out. One, two, three, four. Son of a preacher, man. I'll be on ball. Shout out to me, I'll be on the school of 13 dollars. Well, he got stripes. Yeah, he got stripes. No, you get in the back. What? Get in the back. Why well, I gotta run in the back? Cause the cameraman gotta look at me. He gotta have something interesting to do. Alright. Well, we're going to the big show. My main thing I wanna do is just beat Brimstone Highway. That's that's pretty much all I care about is beating Brimstone Highway today. Yeah, I just wanna beat Brett. Literally, I just wanna beat him. Conway, he's a fine man. You never met Conway Twitty. How do you know? Hey, no, I never met Conway Twitty. Did you ever Twitty. meet Conway Twitty? Yes, I met Conway Twitty. Where? Every time I sit down in my trailer and I listen to Conway, I meet him for the first time ever, again, over and over. I meet Conway every time I listen to that song, Hello Darling. It's like he's saying it to me, but I ain't no darling, I'm a man. You understand? Who knows? Not you. I'm not here. Hey, what's happening, y'all? How y'all been? Good. Hey, is this a new band, a new drummer? No, it's actually my wife. What's going on with you, man? Listen, I love you guys. Really, I do. But after playing everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Paris, France, Los Angeles, Myrtle Beach, Marietta. You know what I'm talking about. Secret to knowing how to play good music is knowing when to quit. You know what? The secret to stealing is never getting caught. Your boy Vinny didn't know that. Come on, come on. And the secret to meth is never using. But I guess y'all don't know that either. And the secret to... Hey Shane, give me my black shirt, man. What? Go on, get my black shirt. I'm changing, man. Why you need your black shirt? Because I'm changing. Changing. I'm changing. Hey, I got to prepare hey, for my black say, shirt. This is a good idea. What are you doing? Hey, look out! <laughs> oh, God. Ah. Ah. Dude, you all right, man? Dude, what's the deal? Can you see how that stop sign? Oh, my God. Ah. Ah. Wait, where do you go? Hey, where do you go? Nobody stops and that stops on that's your fault! Hey, 
did. I told you not to change the shirt. It ain't my fault. Well, it's not your fault. Where did that dude go? I don't know. He drove off. You know why? Because he stopped at the stop sign that nobody stops at. That is the stupidest thing I've <laughs> ever heard. Man, you bleeding, man. What? Oh, my gosh, Hagen. Hagen, that's a lot of blood. Hagen. Put your shirt on and start the truck. Put my shirt on? Which, which shirt you want me to put on? Which one? I mean, this is what causes the problem in the first place. Which shirt? What shirt you want me to put on? Which one? Tell me which shirt. Which shirt? What, which one should I put on? Calling Shane. Well, I hope they're all right. It's ringing, hang on. Voice mount. Where they're at, but... Hagen, Mr. Genius Brilliant, decided I'm gonna change shirts in the car, rearing somebody. Now I'm sitting here looking at this vehicle that I don't know how in the world it's put together. I know Robert's never worked on that car. I've, it's stuff I've never even seen before, so I don't know what's wrong with it. I can't figure it out. I didn't, Shane, I didn't have any tool. Shane, we out of service. Yeah, I told you. Phone's out of service. I know, Hagen. How are we going to call John? Exactly. Exactly. I well, told you. At least you got some internet on this or something? Maybe some games I can play while you talk to the camera and not work on my truck? Once again, I'm Rocky Stone from number one country, 92.5 WSCV. Our second band is coming up right now. Let's raise some hell for Brimstone Highway. All I want to do is just play one song, you know, play one song with my friends and have a good time. We can't even do that. Hey, man, isn't that your song? Brett, man. I can't believe this, man. You hear that? They're playing your song, man. It's horrible, too. It sounds it sounds like garbage out there. Let's welcome on stage Festus and the White Trash Band. <laughs> All the way from the career of that Festus. There are enough of gasoline in the pickup. No, man. man, you have one guy is not just a band. You gotta have no, a it's, it's cool. Hey, my name's John. I'm from, I'm from Blue Ridge, not from Greer. He got nothing except two cents in my pocket. A worn out picture of you in my wallet. Took a trip to the mountains today. Took your memories. Say nothing except a song in town. Ain't got a job in this country. Oh man, we are so late. Hey, we gotta hurry. We gotta get there and help John out, man. Oh man, just let him go. He's already playing. So. What are you talking about? Man, he can't win without a bass man. He can't kick out the footlocks without a bass man to take the ball. Don't you listen to Merle Haggard? Ain't got no job to pay my bills. Don't know how I'm getting by still. This ain't nothing except a song in town. Ain't got a job and there's nothing to be found. So they do it around, around on you. Run around on you. Run around on you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're best to see the white trap thing.
Once again, let me remind you that our judges include talent scouts from several Nashville record labels. Our own Hawk and Little John are out there judging. The grand prize winner gets an all-expense-paid recording session. Okay, folks. Yes, we do have a winner. Congratulations. Let's raise some hell once again for the winner tonight, Brimstone Highway. We work hard. We deserve this. Hey, John. What hey, Lisa. Rebel Records out of Nashville. Nice hey, that was really a really good performance. Appreciate it. Yeah, that was real good. You write that song? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was good. You got any other? Yeah, yeah, I got a few. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, let me, uh, you got a card? No. Uh, here, let me give you one of my cards. All right. Here's one of mine, and I want you to write you. Give me your number. All right. You got, here. Yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Listen. Keep up the good work. I'll be in touch. I appreciate it. Good to see you. All right, good to see you. Still, man, it's not all gross. <laughs> oh, I'll kill you for stealing John's song. Okay. I'm going to kill you for stealing John's song. Take it easy, Harold. All right. Everybody just be cool. Yeah, I ain't holding my breath. I've already, you know, had it out with Nashville. I'll give him, give him a record. They hear it, they know what we do. You know, I ain't keeping my fingers crossed because they ain't calling me, they've already heard it. So I got a good job now, I got a little money in my pocket, living good, still playing some music with the band, having fun, and actually looking at a trailer to buy out towards the, uh, you know, TR, Marietta, Slater, Cleveland, Degasville area, somewhere out there. Hello? Well, how you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, I'd like to get out. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to get out there. When is that? Oh, that sounds good. Yeah. Okay, alright. Okay, cool, man. I'll, well, I'll, 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 I'll give you a call back. Uh, later on today. Alright, cool. See ya. What was that all about? Oh, uh, this guy, buddy. I met him up at the show the other night, up at the o Opry. And I just talked to him a little bit, you know. He, he does some music stuff, too, you know. Just wanted to get together, hang out a little, you know. Huh. John asked me for the day off, and, uh, I mean, I got so much work to do, I can't really be letting people off. I got that Bronco I got to work on, and uh, I got that truck that ain't running, and there's about four go-karts that I got to work on. And and then he told me he was going to Nashville to meet with some record guy, and I was like, man, this has turned out to be worst-case scenario, and now I'm stuck right in the middle of it. Yeah, heading up to Nashville now, it's kind of weird because Hagen's not with us right now and neither, you know, anybody else in the band, it's just me, but don't want to get anybody's hopes up until I know what the deal is for sure, so. But I hate taking this thing out on the interstate, you know, not really sure what this truck's going to do, but hopefully it'll take us there.
Hey man. Uh, what's up? Come on. Okay, I'm here to up? see uh, Buddy Leaster. Buddy Leaster. Okay. About uh, the yeah, demo or something. Oh, Buddy's not here, but he told us you were coming. What's okay. up? I'm Jeremy. I'm, Jeremy Phillips. I'm John Stringer. Okay, uh, you can come on back. Come to the okay. door right there. All right, cool. John Stringer. Hey, yeah, yeah. Raymond. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to right. meet you. Have a seat. Have a uh, seat. Jeremy, have a seat too. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, we're glad you could come up here. We just wanted to, to meet. We got a couple of things we want to talk about and take care of. You, you brought your guitar? Yeah, yeah. All yeah, right. Well, love I, I would love to hear a song. You want to hear a song? Yeah, yeah. Part of a song. Yeah. Part of a song would be good. Let's <coughs> see here. Yeah. Uh, well, we all mm -hmm. thought you lived in a trailer. Wasn't much to see. When I pulled in, it was a two story house painted white and green. You drove an old Trans Camaro, paid for with cash. You may not live in a trailer, but you're still trailer park trash. Well, it may not be a trailer that you live in. You're still as trashy as it comes. Eating eggs, bit of dick, more light beer, and a corned beef hash. You may not live in a trailer, but you're still trailer park trash. Well, John, um, basically the way we do things here is we have, uh, you know, we like to, to meet the person, you know, have a, you know, a connection kind of thing like that. So that's why we had you come up here today. Um, we like it, you know. We like cool. it. I mean, I, I know cool. a, a fair, fair amount about music and yeah. the country and stuff like that. I just wanted to have a look at you, buddy. Like I said, he knows all about it, and he's very sure that with our our marketing and our uh, all of our PR and stuff like that, that we can really. You know, tell you the truth, then we can make some hits out of this and, you know, have you come up here to Nashville, go in the studio, have a, you know, have a Jeremy put together a band and meet you in there. Well, I've already got a band. Well, I mean, we got some professional musicians. They're, they're real good, you know. Yeah, play circles around, you know, anybody in town. Jeremy's got connections all over the place. He's a genius. So, you know, that's not a problem, is it? Oh, uh, well... I mean, you know, we've been playing together a while. And Put it to you this way, best, you know. you're the artist. You're the one that, that uh, you know, makes the decision, so to speak. And you're the one that has control over your art. However, how many gold records have you made? Well, I guess I had not make any right now. Right. So, and we want to change that. And we've done it time and time and time again. Time and time again. What do you think, old producer? Maybe Cliff? You think Cliff would do it? Cliff would be wonderful. I think Cliff will probably yeah. do it. I think he'll be into this. Cliff owes me a favor too, so. Nice. Yeah. nice. So, John, if you don't have any more questions, I have one for you. And that's are we going to do this thing? Kind of like to think about it a little while, you know, kind of mull it over. But well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, you know, we got, we got something we're going to. We're going to get you a show over at uh, Rocket Town here in Nashville. So. Yeah, what's the name of the band again? Us. Uh, oh, yeah, it's uh, Cutting Throats. The Dino More, I believe, is what it, they're called. Right, right. Is that that's a country band? No, no, no it's not not a country band. Uh, see, uh, I'm kind of excited about this. It's like our, our new thing. Um, Jeremy and I are are uh, starting a indie hardcore punk uh, thing. They call it, you know, like the kids and stuff like that. Yeah. Tons of money to be made over there. Tons. Awesome. And it's just huge market right yeah, now. Yeah. So it's our. It's gonna be our new thing. We're gonna go. Yeah. But we're going to so obviously keep anyway. the country thing going, but right. no, yeah. us too, we, you know. Rebel Records is, is, you know, rocking, you know, as they say. We, uh, so, yeah. so anyway, here's, Once like you said, take some time to mull it over. We'll be back in about three hours. Okay. So here's the sheet, John. letter nice of the tent. To yeah. Nice to meet you, John. All right, check it on. Why don't you go ahead and get ready then? All right. But yeah, man, uh, you know, we'll be back in a few hours, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can finish up what we started. Okay, All right. cool. Nice, nice to meet you, John. Nice to meet you. Take it easy. All right. Travis, what do you think? It's 
one off though. All right, try it. Let me get this all back together. So take me back to Carolina and take me to the hills. And take me back to Carolina to the moonlit beach from the hills. And give me back to the sandy shore. The waves crashing on my feet. I feel right at home. Underneath the palmetto tree. Just come up with that, just thought that up. Just gotta put some verses to it, but that's my course. We're gonna get it together. It's gonna be good. Yeah, man, I got it. What'd you get out? Nah, it's out, that's fine. Robert's Garage! Hey, man, what's up? Where you at, John? Yeah, yeah, he's working on a truck, he's right here at home. It's John. Hey, what's up, man? All right. Um, hey, let me call you right back. All right, see you. Hey, where are you? I hung up. What's up? Where's uh, John? He's uh, broken down on the side of the road. We gonna go get him? Yeah. I'm gonna go get him. See if I get this done. Where's he broken down at? Uh, Tennessee. Tennessee? What the heck is he doing up there? Well, he's uh, meeting with a record label. Record label? All right, man. Record label. That means we're getting a record deal. Mm -hmm. You ain't happy, Shane? We got a record deal. Hang on a second. What? Why would uh, why would John go to Nashville by himself and not tell us? Surprise us. No, Hagen. I don't think that's legit. Well, here's the deal. They don't want the whole band, and that's I mean why he didn't tell everybody. Well, who do they want then? I can take it if they don't want Shane. They just want John. That's it. Is this that fellow that was talking to him after the Battle of the Bands the other night? Yeah. Well. You know, they didn't even really want my band. They just, you know, that's one of the songs. And, you know, wanted, wanted me. They said maybe you could, you know, front a band and we'll give you a band. But you know, I don't really know if I want to play with other people, then, you know. Cause I mean, it's not fun if you ain't playing with your friends. You're playing with strangers you don't know. You know, they might want to play other kind of music we don't play, you know, just just like Kid Rock. He's a queer. When I got out of that truck, I was ready to just beat John to death. So I get over there and he tells me that he didn't want to take the deal because he didn't want to play with nobody else but me and that he didn't think we'd be friends if he did it. And I told him that's the dumbest thing I ever heard, you know? He's got... He's gonna have tons of money. I'm, I'd love to be his friend. I'd love to hang out with him, just all day. Just run around with him, play around with him. I mean, we will live life the same way we always did, just playing music, having fun, and it was a pretty good time. Except Shane was there, not so great. You know, you gotta do right by the people you know. Keep working a job and working, get a little money, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe do another record, you never know. Make some more music. As long as I got a little money in my pocket, you know, I'm feeling good, you know, hanging out with the boys. Here's a song I wrote when I told those fellas in Nashville that they could, they could kiss it, they could kiss this. So I wrote them this song right here, and it goes like this. 42 days on the road up north, but I've got a Dixon line. Things are the way they are because you know that's just the way things are now and that's you know you can make anything you want to be you know what you want it to be and that's just the way it's going to be. Getting back to the southern sun, the cotton fields and the woods and we'll have lots of fun cause a life there sure is good. 30 
26 hours of red tail lights could make. I got these at one of the greatest stores known to man at the beach. It's called uh, Sons of the Confederacy. I think that's what it's called. But it's it's a really nice store. You can get all your Confederate apparel there. Uh, they have Confederate bikinis, Confederate shorts, Confederate pants, Confederate shirts, all kinds of different shirts. And then they, I just think some of that's just too tacky. But the flip flop is tasteful. It doesn't say a lot, but it says a lot. To Carolina, and take me to the hills. How much your mom want for the tires right there? Oh man, oh, my mom don't want much for them, probably. Five dollars a tire. A then a th thirty-one ten fifty. Yeah, they a little dry rock. You can run them again. Hey, I know this fella got a grooving tool. He, you can groove the dog crap out of these so you can drive better on that. You know, your little Ranger, we put these right on that. Rock crawling. Yeah, rock crawling.